So this is the official welcome, Coach Borino with you. Another exciting interview, another exciting time to learn something, to get inspired. So you can do better. You can help more people. You can help clients. And more importantly, you're going to make some money. So once in a while, I bring on a rock star. Somebody, and my criteria for rock star is somebody who is doing it or has done it well in the past. Somebody who uses something you guys can copy and duplicate. So it's a system that's duplicatable. It's not something convoluted that nobody else can replicate. And somebody uh, not only as good looking as me, but also <laughs> willing to share. <laughs> somebody who doesn't mind sharing the ideas, be open, answer your questions. So today I'm really excited. I've discovered these two rising rock star superstars in Michigan recently. They approached me, they took one of my courses, they took the bootcamp class with me. And then I started watching the results. They've been really cool about posting and kind of cataloging and documenting their progress. And I'm like, holy shit, you guys are in Michigan. It is January. It's fucking freezing. Nobody's moving. Nobody's doing anything and you're crushing it. How are you doing it? So instead of that, just them telling me and me telling you guys, I figure why not bring them here to Rockstars, have a fun chat with them and let's see what they're doing so you guys can duplicate the whole thing. Feel free to ask questions. I'll be monitoring the Q&A here and we'll talk to Mr. Luke and Miss Krista. Great to have you guys. Thanks for joining us today. Looking good, people. Yeah, thanks for having yes, us. Yes, thank you. <laughs> That's awesome. So real quick, you are in Michigan. Which part of Michigan? We are in southwest Michigan, so we're here in Kalamazoo. Kalamazoo, Michigan. So you guys, if you need a rock solid team who can take care of your clients, buyers or sellers, those are the people to hit up. Okay, send them your referrals. Uh, how many years in the business? So I've been in real estate five years now, and I was having so much fun that Krista got involved here this past <laughs> summer. So I keep she wanted a piece of that action, right? <laughs> it does. She's, yeah, yeah it's fun. So. So you guys work as a team. Now, do you divide your duties or do you do things together? Like if you have a listing appointment, do you go together, both of you, or so do you separate? We go to both together. Um, we found that the response was a lot better because usually, you know, when you go to a listing appointment, you usually appeal to one person when you're solo, but together, we're, I don't know if you've kind of picked up, but we have two different personalities in a way. I would um, have never noticed that. No, you oh, are. Oh, really? <laughs> um, <laughs> it only takes five minutes to know that. Um, <laughs> yeah, Krista is the quiet analytical one, right? <laughs> when you get to know me, I get a little loud, but, but you know, we usually appeal to one person and the other person appeals to the other. So we usually, you know, really are great at getting them in together as a team, as opposed to appealing to one person. Gotcha. So it, it, you kind of complement your yin and yang strengths. and, and Yeah. yeah. And, and it, it's real common for us to go to appointments when we're walking through to her take one person yeah. to the other side of the building and I'll take the other. The thing I've realized is you don't even have to build the perfect relationship with both. We just need one of us to have a real good relationship and the other one not to mess the other one up. Yeah. I mean, honestly, that's, that's what it comes down to. Interesting. So it doesn't need to be perfect on both ends. Right. If one connects with one of the spouses, usually, right? Husband and wife, usually, correct? Mm -hmm. That's good enough. That will usually get you the listing. Yeah. 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 Very cool. All right. Average home. What's your average sales price? Are you selling regular single family homes? Yeah, yeah, so uh, our market's average sales price just dipped to about 135000 Um, And that's one thing we've been fighting, actually. But ever since we've really taken on the expireds, we've been raising it like crazy. We're listing five, six, seven hundred thousand dollar $700,000 homes like hotcakes, and they're all expired. Ooh. Same yeah. amount of work, better paycheck, right? Yeah, yeah. oh yeah. 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 Same Good. loyalty, and they have better referrals. That is awesome. Uh, how was last year for you guys, calendar year, as far as number of transactions closed? Uh, last year, we were just under 37 transactions for about 5 million. 37, 5 million. So not a bad year. Yeah, no, I mean, and then she had just came aboard, like I said. So yeah. it was a lot of training and stuff, um, yeah. getting her on board. What are you projecting this year? Uh, this year, I think we'll be on track for about 75 transactions. Wow. So double the bad boy. Very nice. Yeah. With, and really, I think the key thing is to that is just having the systems in place. Um, one thing last year, so this is a thing in our market, you know, when the market was so hot, there was so little expired in FISBOs. It just, there wasn't a lot. Um, and a lot of them were selling. Them. And then, so we realized, and that's kind of why we came to you is that there was going to be a need for expired in FISBOs. Um, so last year, 75% of our business was actually agent referrals. Oh, uh, interesting. 
Yeah, so we kind of build a business around that, but we want to kind of add that second lever and, and, and third lever being Fizbos and Expires, and that's why we came to, to find you, and, and we just kept hearing good things. Thanks. Well, it, it was great to have you guys, because I tell you, there is a big chunk of people who take the boot camp and don't do anything about it. But this has with the boot camp. That's like the usual approach to life people have. You know, I'm going to study, kumbaya, entertain, but I'm not going to do much with it. You guys just grabbed it and ran with it. You started seeing results very, very quickly. How long did it take you to take the Expired Plus, to go through the boot camp and actually implement it so you start seeing results? We started just right away. Really, within the week that we started your boot camp, we started applying things right away. And I think that's the problem people have, too, is not just they need to get up and they need to go to work and then stay focused on working. Um, they also just worry about perfecting it too much. You don't have to be perfect. You just have to start. So you don't have to have all the pieces together to get going on this. And I think that's the key thing is we just started right away with what we had. And then we just improved as we went, learned lessons as we went, and then went from there. And it worked out great for us. And that's really the approach I tell you guys. Do that because no matter how much you're going to fuck with it, it's not going to be perfect no matter what you do. Just run with it and it's going to get better as you go. Now, you tend to kind of take a very – Different approach overall in real estate. You get shit done. You fired your sign company yeah. Yeah. in the middle of winter with a bunch of listings and you just, well, fuck it. I'm going to load the signs in our car and we're going to get the shit done and go yeah. out there and put the sign, right? Isn't that what yeah. you did? Yeah. Yeah. If something's not getting done, we're going to do it because, you know, our time is precious to us. So Yeah. Yeah. And I, I think the, the big thing is so many people feel like you have to have all this stuff perfect. You know, you have to have everything in line and I would rather just throw me in the fire and let's figure it out while we're in there. Right. Um, so that's our big thing. I think that's why we got started really fast. Um, maybe before some other people's cause like we didn't care if the postcards came in yet. We didn't yeah. care if the flyers came in and this and that, like, let's just get to the appointment and figure it out from there. So what, what were your first steps? How did you go about going out there? You didn't do expires before. Obviously most of it came from referrals and other sources. What did you do first? How did you get started? We got on the phones. <laughs> we got on the phones and we, um, you know, we took a different approach. So, you know, we used to use scripts like pretty heavily and to some degree we do, but now we focus more and it's been a game changer on having a conversation with somebody, which I know you had talked about. Um, having a conversation changed a lot. People actually want to talk to you at that point. Um, instead of feeling like they're being pitched to. So we focus very heavily on not pitching to them. When we're talking, we're trying to solve the problem. We're trying to identify the problem they're having by asking questions, but then letting them answer it and then kind of letting the conversation go from there. So the first thing we did really was focus on having a conversation on the phones with people. And then of course, showing up every day to do that. And you did it consistently regardless. Yeah, consistently right? every morning. Yeah. We yeah. Here so the process was what we talk about and what we're going to work on in the boot camp. You guys kind of join. This is really what I taught them. I'm going to teach you and help you build the whole system. So if, if you want the same system, you'll get it. It's the same thing. You're going to learn exactly how they did it. Um, so you called first, then what do you do? So, yeah. So the thing that you had taught us is to really systemize it. Right. Yeah. So, if you don't get the call, what's the next step? So for us, um, we would literally call sometimes two, three times a day. We're not, I'm going to be honest with you, we're not the earliest person in here. Yeah. There's people in here earlier than us. Yeah. But we're going to call them in the morning. If we don't have appointments in the afternoon, we're going to call them. Like right before we got on this phone, we were just making appointments um, earlier. We just set two of them within yeah. the last <laughs> half hour. One so that's the thing is, if, if, if we don't get in the morning, we're going to call in the afternoon. If we don't get them then, we're going to mail them, we're going to email them, we're going to text yeah. them, Facebook, LinkedIn. I mean, we're going to reach them till, till they tell us to stop. Yeah, we now, you got one of the appointments right after you visited the expired and the seller pulled up. Wasn't there a story like that? Oh, so I actually, so I went to an appointment during the polar vortex. Um, went to an appointment. <laughs> uh, you know, went through the whole thing with them. And, you know, they had received our stuff, too. And, you know, that I think that the husband and wife just wanted to talk for a minute, but we pulled out and then 20 minutes later, I got a text. Okay, sorry for wasting your time. Can you turn around and we can just sign it now? So that, ended that up, was it. 
And yeah, the, actually, there was yeah. one person I had called as well, and then, you know, they had seen the, the packet, and they just went and listed with me without an appointment. Well, that's awesome. What do you use? Where do you get your expired uh, phone numbers? Uh, we actually use Espresso Agent. Good. What I recommend. You see, yeah. you just, here's the thing. For me, the hardest thing is f not to teach you guys real estate. The hardest thing is for me to convince you that if you just follow what I tell you to do, it's going to work. Yeah, and a lot. It's, it's going to work. I mean, and you keep following it. You keep multiplying. It's going to keep multiplying for you. That's awesome. So uh, where are you now as far as expires listed? You crushed you had some really good two weeks there, right? There was a window where you just knocked it out of the park. Yeah, there, there was like a, I mean, there wasn't a day that we weren't on an appointment to two appointments and taken one. Um, so I want to tell you, like, I'm really excited about the listings we have now. So like I said, we had just picked up 12 of them. We listed yeah. one today. We got a listing point tomorrow. We had one today or the next day. But I'm more excited about what's in our pipeline for the future. Yeah. So we, I mean, we probably have a million dollars in, in, in GCI yeah. in the pipeline. Like that's what really excites me. Like, yeah, this is great. Now we probably have, we listed two and a half million and within of um, real estate within the last probably two months. Um, but there, there, there's so much more in the pipeline now. And I think just think like, other, like you're still just getting started that there's way more. Yeah. Yeah. We're up. Yeah. And the <laughs> thing too, that's exciting is one of our goals by the end of this year was to actually hire somebody. And now it's starting to turn into, we have to hire somebody by the end of this year. Yeah. We'll, we'll be hiring a couple people here yeah. sooner than later. I mean, we, we're already interviewing. Do you have an assistant? Uh, so that's, yeah, that's, that's who we're interviewing. <laughs> yeah. So assistants we're yeah. interviewing. We have a showing assistant. We're looking at just a bunch of different options, which this has really catapulted us to be able to focus on listings. For the last year, we've actually been 95% um, percent seller focused, yeah. um, which has allowed us to, to grow kind of fast, I think. Excellent. So what do you guys see as the biggest hurdle right now? What is the biggest obstacle? Where do you feel like you need the most help right now? Other than the personnel? Probably time. Yeah, yeah, time. <laughs> well, personnel, I think it comes back yeah. to, but really time is having enough time for everything. Um, but I think at the, I mean, I know you said not personnel, but that's what it's going to come back to for us at this moment. Yeah, I think having a good skilled assistant who can take over a lot of the admin stuff where you're slowing down may be a good move. And then yeah. the buyer's agent. Because with all these listings, you're going to start generating buyers whether you want them or not. Yeah, they, yeah. yeah we've yeah. seen that already. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, Nick Baldwin is saying hello. Nick, good to join. Good, yeah. good to join us. He's saying hello. Uh, Patty says, my husband and I were both husband and wife team and we get together to our appointment and it's working for us as well. So that seems to be working really well. It is against what I teach you guys. I say, you want to double the time, you split up. But my bottom line is this, do what it takes to get the business. And if yeah. this is working, yeah. don't fuck with it. Leave it alone. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Hey, I'll offer one tip too. I was talking to someone other day that, that will help people build rapport with sellers. Um, I just wanted to add this because, you know, some sellers, they just kind of want to hurry up, hear your pitch and get out. But one thing that um, I've noticed will help is if you actually, if you want them to slow down, bring a tape measure with you hmm. and have them hold the other side of the tape measure and start measuring the rooms. It will literally slow down the process. You get to view every room, you get to hear every story and build rapport. It, I'm telling you, you will, you will have so much more report because you slowed it down and just measure each room. That is excellent idea. I like that a lot. Um, what do you do about expires that you don't get hold of? Like you call them a few times, you visit. How often do you follow up? How much do you follow up? Do you keep them on, this, on the system? So we follow up with them every single day until mm -hmm. we get an answer, literally. So we will call, mail, mm -hmm. text, until we pretty much hear, please stop bugging me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, and that's the thing too, is like, you'll notice the, the majority. So we haven't really had time to get into like some of the door knocking or showing up yeah. um, because we just saw that we could personally call more people yeah. in an hour versus visit. But I think that's be the highest mm -hmm. conversion. But the, even mailing, she sent a mailing the other day and he, he called us from the mailing. Like he yeah. didn't get any yeah. of our phone calls. Just a postcard. Yeah. Uh, the, the postcard that you had asked us yeah. to, um, to use in the boot camp. So we sent it. He reached back to us and, we'll, and it's the lake house. Guys, uh, I just want you to notice something. And this is not bragging about how genius I am, but <laughs> you notice a pattern. I tell them to do something. They did it. They're getting business. You notice that? They repeated it over and over. You told us to do this, so we're doing it, and here are the results we're getting. 
And this is not, we never talk personal like these guys, right? This is not no. like, oh, let's pitch the boot camp and let's get everybody signed up. Yeah. My idea was to bring people who actually follow what I told them to do and show you. There is nothing, well, no offense, but there is nothing like super unique about you guys. Do you believe that anyone else who has the desire can do this? Yeah. They just have to do it. <laughs> so what's the secret? What, what makes you different? Why is it that to you, it's to grab the ball and run with it seems natural while so many others struggle with it. What do you think is the difference? So I think the difference is this. So my, my friend puts it this way. The, the secret is to just do the work. So there is no shortcuts. You just have to do it. I, you, see, you could have had so many beautiful reasons and excuses why this wouldn't work. The weather, the market, the time of the year. All these would be very valid reasons, and yet you don't seem to care. You just keep going forward and taking listings left and right like nobody's business. <laughs> yeah, our vision boards are smack dab in front of our computers yeah. right where we're dialing. So you are had a bad conversation or a good conversation, you get to look at that, and that gets to push you. Um, I think the other thing, too, is every, you know, every day or every week, like life's going to happen, right? Just show up, do the work, push through it, and you can have that conversation with life after. But just go ahead and do the, do the work first, right? Yeah. That is true. That is true. Now, question from Manish, who would like to know, how far do you go? What kind of radius do you cover? So uh, we go up to like an hour away. You're willing to drive up to an hour to, to get a business? Just an hour. Our speed limits are like 80 miles per hour here. <laughs> on the yeah, highway. this I mean, is a little faster. Yeah, but, but yeah, so we can, we can service an hour. And then with our use of showing assistance here, we'll be able to push out yeah. quite further than that, we, we think. So how many conversations do you have on an average day? I have five before I usually set an appointment. So yeah. it takes about five conversations to set one appointment. Yeah, with exp expireds or FISBOs, that's mm -hmm. usually yeah. the number that I And read. that seems to be the bulk of your business right now? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's been, the, uh, yeah, I think the biggest, like we try to have at least personally 20 conversations each. Yeah. Um, but again, if you can, you know, five, and it really depends of course, um, a lot of the people here, so I'll tell you, our market, we only have like 900 realtors in our market. Yeah. Um, so I'm not saying that's why we're getting appointments because we're still having um, like, you know, 10 to 15 that, that we'll call on a regular basis. Um, but I think the, the key thing is, let's, let's say, for example, one of the objections we get all the time is, um, you know, all these other realtors had called me. I said, hey, that's fantastic. How many, right? And they'll say 15. I said, well, I, I'm hoping you plan to hire one of those 15, right? Um, and then they chuckle. And then, you, like I said, we had talked about, you know, having that conversation, right? So there, we've just limited. So, hey, I don't care if you have 30,000 agents. I want to know how many are calling, right? Yeah. So then that's really how many agents you're competing against. You're not competing against, you know, however many are in your market. I think oh, that doesn't seem to be a whole lot of competent competition. Like somebody who really no. has it down like you guys as a system and there's th yeah. who are doing it on a daily basis. Right. right? And, and again, when he brings up, you know, <laughs> when we're at the appointment, we say, how many people called you? And they go, oh, maybe 15. And we go, do you know there's 900 agents on the board? It shows them. I called you, I'm working, I'm going to call those same people to see if they want to buy your listing. So it kind of gives you, when you do the work, it actually gives you that edge over the people that aren't. Yeah, it shows them that you're the active agent who doesn't sit on their ass, yeah. who's out there hustling. So uh, walk me through your day. What would your average day look like? When do you start? What happens? So we come in, so we actually have role play partners. So, you know, the times kind of vary before, but it's always before we get on the phone. So we have two daughters, so they get dropped off at about 830. So we will role play in between some time then usually, and then we'll get on the phones from nine to 11. We'll go to lunch for about uh, a half hour. 12. Well, we, well, nine to 11 is new business. 11 yeah, to 12 11 follow, to 12 up. follow up. And then we go to lunch. Um, and then after that, it's kind of, you know, your admin work and then appointments. So do you work on weekends? What was that? Do you work on weekends? Saturday. Yeah, we, just, we work Saturdays. Yeah. Um, we, again, with the kids, we try to limit that. The thing I've noticed actually is sellers is a Monday through Friday, nine to five job. I've kind of noticed uh, for us at least where buyers tend to be your, your nights and weekends. So we've actually bought back a lot of that time focusing on sellers. Gotcha. What do you do with buyers right now? If somebody says we want to buy a house, could you show um, us properties? We will work with them. We, you're showing assistance. We're kind of testing different models. Yeah. Um, but again, be with 95% sellers, we just haven't really 
touch that lately. Um, so we do have a couple we're working with right now. Yeah. But, but that will save you your sanity and your yeah. weakness. <laughs> no, no, you I still know. make the money. Trust me. <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Mita would like to know if you leave a voicemail when nobody answers. Yeah, well, it's pre it's a pre recorded yeah. voicemail through Expresso Agents. You just click and it by the you time you're already on to the next one and it left it. Yeah, awesome. and it, it's super simple. Hey, just call about your property. Give me a call. We keep now, it super simple, so they'll call us back. With for sale by owners, I kind of like wait a few calls because I've noticed that it's best usually, at least in our market, for me to get them on the phone first. So if they don't after like maybe two or three calls, then I will leave the voicemail mm -hmm. and then go from there. Gotcha. Um, yeah. And, okay. Yes, we leave and the voicemail. To, to break it down, she's like the FISBO guru and I try to, <laughs> I'm okay at expires, you know? Um, so we've really split it up and figure out what our strength was. And yeah. it kind of, I think that helped us as well. That's excellent. Now imagine we're going to put Krista through the FISBO bootcamp. Yeah. 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 You're going to clean up Michigan. There'll be people leaving, moving out. Says, fuck this. I can't sell this. <laughs> no, I kid you not. Like within the last two months, she has called three or maybe even four FISBOs that on the first conversation said, all right, just come, come sell my house. Like, really? Yeah, like yeah. not even got to listen for me yet. They're like, I'm fed up. Just come list my house. Like she's had it in the last two months, like four of them. That is awesome. You guys, wouldn't it be interesting to put these two on camera and actually watch them make some calls? Would you watch that? Wouldn't that be interesting? We would do it. Yeah. yeah we would you do it? We can set yeah. that up. We've done it in the past. I've done live calls with people where I coach them a little. And yeah, please. Yeah. I think that'd be fun. Awesome. Um, a lot of people watching this are sitting on the fence. They're like, oh, bootcamp this. He's trying to sell me on that shit. It's expensive. It's not. It's 197 bucks. You pay one installment and you can go through the whole thing. So it's not about the money. Do you believe or would you recommend they consider the bootcamp, should sign up and take it? And if so, if yes, why? Or if not, why not? Yeah, I'd say yes. I mean, do you want to say no to 12 listings in two weeks? That's the potential of what you could have if you get up and do the work and then you have a system to follow. It's so like it took so much stress off to know there was a system to fall back on. Okay, they didn't answer, so now I do this, so now I do this. So I think it takes out a lot of stress, which is always worth it. And then, of course, I mean, we've been getting results. I don't see a reason not to do it. I see you guys, you don't seem very stressed. I'll be no, honest. No, I'm awesome. no, awesome. feeling pretty great. I'd be in flip-flops and a t-shirt if it was warmer. <laughs> <laughs> now, how do you stay motivated when things don't work? We both know a lot of the winning in this game is mindset. Mm -hmm. How do you stay positive and upbeat when a deal falls apart or where you, where you have a slow day, where nobody answers, where it's just kind of grinding? How do you stay on top of it? How do you keep going? There's a couple ways. The first way is basically we have a board of all of our listings in there, and it's really nice to see that board near yeah. full. Mm -hmm. um, so that's, that's the first way we do it. The second way is, of course, our dream board being slapped right in front of us. Um, and then lately, we've been meditating quite a bit as well, uh, which has a lot of benefits as well. I definitely recommend, you know, look into that. Meditation, um, very cool. The biggest thing for us, and we had heard this from somebody else, is, like I said, when life gets hard, like when you're walking through the door, you want to flip the switch, right? So I always think whenever I'm showing up to an appointment or anything, it doesn't matter if I'm in a good mood or bad mood. I literally, like, it, I, I just literally shake my hands. And I'm like, it's showtime, right? And, and it just, it's a mental thing for me is that when it's showtime, it's time to, to put that, that hat on. I'm a salesperson. I'm a show up and, and do the work and then deal with that stuff later. So I think we've really learned. And then I'm, I'm sure that is through some of the meditation we do that um, sometimes you can, can set stuff forward where you're going to just work with it later. And I think accountability is a huge thing. Mm -hmm. You have to look at yourself in the mirror and say, if I say no to this, am I okay with losing this? Because that's what's going to happen if I don't show up today. You know, and just I think for you two guys, it's so cool that you can support each other, push each other, inspire each other. Having a partner like that, whether they're part of your business or not, is not as important as having somebody who's on board. Very often when things don't go well, you know how it is, boss starts nagging you, where's the paycheck, where we rent and this and that. Yeah. It's hard to, to be the only one pulling where you two seem to really like the yin and yang really support each other and inspire each other and push each other mm -hmm. oh yeah we push each other pretty hard some days <laughs> <laughs> really? yeah we hold each other really accountable which someone else could really do that you know you could have an accountability partner and and have to check mm -hmm. in with because no one likes the feeling of saying mm -hmm. i didn't make my goal today and i know and you'll look back you'll know it's because you didn't do something 
rarely is it because of something that really just like happened to you. It's usually because you chose not to show up one day and now you're just seeing the result later. Yeah. Well, do you, do you set like daily goals? Uh, yeah, yeah, we yeah, have daily goals, calls, weekly yeah. goals, monthly goals. You know, one of the reasons we started posting in the group is because that's kind of an accountability for us. Because once people yeah. start seeing your success and then all of a sudden you stop posting, well, it's kind of embarrassing, <laughs> right? Yeah. So we're, that's a lot of people don't see that, but really it's helping us to be able to post in there and share those stories because now we're accountable. Because yeah. if for some reason we just go, you know, disappear for two months, people are going to think, you know, what the heck happened? So, oh, people are going to think, I'm going to call you. says, guys, what's going on? Where yeah. are you? Hello? Are you there? What's yeah. going on? Yeah. They're like, hey, we're in Cancun on vacation. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> <clears throat> so that helps you. What else holds you accountable? What else, what other tools do you use to, to stay mentally focused? Is there anything else? Yeah, so I actually, I take it even a step further. I have those essential oil things. When I make my calls, mm. I have that going in the background. Um, and then I also actually play a little bit of rap music softly so they can't hear me. Um, but anything that I know will get me stuck out of a negative mindset. So, you know, I get off a bad call. Well, Kanye West usually gets you out of the mood pretty quick. Um, and then I just, you know what, I'm fine. You know, I'll, I'll even sometimes if they hang up and, and they were a particularly rude person to me, you know, I will wait till they hang up and I'll say what I wanted to say to them. I'll even pause the dialer to do it. And then I'll hit play because you have to learn to like, let that get that feeling out as fast as you can feel it, but then like, let it go and just get over it. Burn yeah. the energy off and keep going. It would be yeah. funny if they didn't hang out. That'd be kind of cool. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I would get the listing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, question from Patty. Do you have a good CRM system that you can recommend? Uh, you know, that's funny you ask. So we are in the process of switching our CRM because we're with Keller Williams and they're spending a lot of money on, on uh, technology. So actually, we're just using um, Expresso Agent as a, our CRM right now, Yeah. Um, which is, it actually has everything we need uh, in it right now. So cool. I know, people, I mean, literally, it's, it's really a, a, a dialer and CRM all in one, to be honest. And for, uh, it's, it's, I don't know what the price is, but you know, we got a deal through signing up with you. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, uh, you can try it for, I think 29 bucks or something. Yeah. Uh, the URL for the bootcamp. Some of you are asking is goborino.com slash bootcamp. I just posted it. So if you want to join us, we have a few spots left. We got to ship you the books by the end of the week because we're starting on Thursday next week. Looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. All right. So Patty wants to join. Cool. Uh, Milagro says the same thing. That's what I do too. Flip the switch. How many daily expired calls do you have to do to get an appointment? Brian would like to know. I thought you mentioned, you said five? Yeah, yes. Five conversations average. with somebody. Conversations. Yeah. And it, How long does it usually take to go through those? I, so with expireds are quicker conversations, I feel, than, than FISBOs. FISBOs team, tend to be longer. But yeah. like yeah. I can probably, I can set an appointment anywhere from like three minutes to 30 minutes. Yeah. I mean, I had a lady that I just could not get off the phone. Um, but, but again, I, I mean, we're, we basically almost had the appointment. The thing I've learned is if you get the appointment, then shut up because you'll talk yourself out of it. Mm. Um, so just get the appointment uh, and then don't stop talking then. <laughs> so, so for sale by owners, I usually, I could talk to them maybe up until like even 20 minutes. Just again, because we focus now, let's let them have the conversation they want to have with us not try to sell us now. That's what the appointment's for, right? It really is to do mm. that. So. so you don't try to be too stiff scripted or controlling. Right. And again, mm. how am I supposed to learn about you and what your worries are with the home mm. sale process? If I'm not even listening to you with the mm. phone call, you can like prepare yourself so much mm. more if you can identify all of their worries from that phone call and show up prepared. And the more you know, the more information you have up front, the more powerful the connection yeah. can be. That is such yeah. a good insight. And the less, the less you talk, right? Whoever talks the most, they probably lost mm -hmm. at that point. So that's the 80, 20 rule we talk about. Let yeah, yeah, talk 80% of the time. Yeah. Ask great questions and listen. That's how we get the appointments. Out of the appointments you go on, the actual listing appointments, how many listings do you end up with? Brian would like to know. What is your ratio? So if you have 10 listing appointments set up yeah. with the seller, how many of those turn into listings? So we're, we're still analyzing all that data. Um, I would say 
if we went on, let's just say, for example, like 10 appointments, um, we're probably now at about like, I'd say probably could do about 70%. Um, That's not bad. No, it's, yeah. yeah and again, we're, it's, it's super new. We, again, we just started this, I think like yeah. three months ago. Like we said, we didn't perfect it. We just ran with it. Whatever yeah. you said is just what we did. I'll bring you in May to DC and we're going to work on your listing presentation and communication for two days straight. We're going to have cameras on you. Mm -hmm. you analyze it piece by piece. By the time you're done, you're going to have a rock solid listing presentation where I expect mm -hmm. you to do 80% or better. And I have some who do 100%. Mm -hmm. so yeah. That's going to be fun. What script do you use? Myra would like to know. You follow uh, the Expert Plus and yeah, then yeah. branch yeah. off to a conversation. Yeah, yes. yeah. I mean, just ba like, so let's say for an expired, right? We're just, I'm just calling to see if, uh, or I'm probably not the first agent that called you, am I? You know, and, and then just, yeah, everything's in there. It's five, it's five yeah. simple questions to ask and just listen. It's really about hitting those points, but then also letting them kind of lead the conversation at the same time. So as long as you cover the points, which you mentioned in your boot camp, what points we need to cover when we talk to them every time, then you're okay. You just want them to be the one talking to you and having a conversation with you. Yeah, yeah. Which is two human beings talking rather than a salesperson right. pitching to a potential client and a commission. Right, right. Because they, they can, especially expires, they don't want to hear all the fluffy crap, right? They're done with that. They already mm -hmm. went through that the first time. So just be to the point with them, but then also listen. And, and I know she said this the other day when we were talking to someone, they're just as nervous talking to you probably that you are talking to them. And it may I mean, be just as uncomfortable for them as well. Yeah. yeah. Who right likes talking to a stranger yeah. and just call them on the phone? Yeah. I mean, Nobody does, really. <laughs> now, look, you're, uh, Luke, your prior service, right? You served Army? In the Army, yeah. Which branch? Army, yeah. Army. Uh, what were you? What were your special, specialty? Uh, so I did a little bit of everything. So okay. uh, I, got, I spent a year in Afghanistan. Okay. Um, so I, Thank you for your service. And that's not just from me, but from several people who are commenting on it. So we appreciate it very much. Oh, thank Do you, you believe yeah. that some of the training and the experience helped you develop that confident, mm -hmm. disciplined mentality? Yeah, if there's one thing I learned in the army, it's the phrase embrace the suck, right? <laughs> yes. No, seriously, but embrace this, like, that's the thing, right? Lead generation, it's not, a, it's not a sexy thing. It's not always a fun thing, right? So embrace the suck. I mean, that's, yeah. that's, that's what I live by, embrace the suck. And the army taught that to me, the, the discipline, right? So on days when stuff is getting tough, you know, you just, you still got to do your job, right? Embrace and you're getting it done. You guys are definitely a great example that anybody yeah. can learn this. It's a set of skills you can develop, improve, and then knock it out of the park. And more importantly, you're doing it in a very cool way because you help people. You do it with kindness, open heart. You're still confident business people. You care about making money and profit. That's your business, but you don't need to manipulate or trick people or do anything, any, any of that shitty salesy stuff, which I very yeah, much appreciate. That's a bad review. I mean, like, mm -hmm. if we don't do our job for them, then we didn't earn that good review, in mm -hmm. our eyes at least. Yeah, yeah. I, totally, I totally agree. Uh, there's a discussion here about your market. You are in the regular market selling regular 20, 30-year-old home, I would imagine, right? Mm -hmm. From yeah. 150000 to what, about 700000 so nothing special. Mm -hmm. They are in southern Michigan, am I right? Southwest, Southwest yep. yep. Okay. Uh, Milagro wants to say, she says, I want to sign up as well for the bootcamp, but I have to make sure this time it works with me. Well, here's the secret. It is not whether the bootcamp is going to work for you or not. That is not the real issue. Are you going to read the book, do what I tell you to do and execute the way these two do? That is, will you work it is the real question. Because we can troubleshoot if something doesn't work. And I'm sure you guys experienced setbacks and problems. Not, it wasn't perfect out of the box. And you had to kind of tweak it and dial it in. But yeah. it's a process, but it's only possible if you keep moving. It's just like a GPS. It would not work if you're just staying stuck in your garage. You gotta be on the road going. And like, what was the goal. biggest challenge for you implementing this? The biggest challenge? Probably was waiting for the next part, really. <laughs> because the, and that's the thing, I know she's, or you know, who they are is worried about, you know, seeing the results. Again, you don't have to perfect it. You just start and you will see results from it. Because we saw every time we changed something, we saw a better result, a better result. So every time we added something, it just grew bigger. So as long as you literally listen to what he's telling you to do and you don't wait for the perfect moment because it's never going to come, you'll see yeah. a result as you go through this. So I'm going to be honest with you. For me, the biggest thing was actually 
it sounds funny, but making the initial investment, right? Because I, I was like, I'm investing over the next, you know, what, two months, you know, let's say $400 into somebody I really didn't know. Um, I've heard of you, but uh, I, I didn't, you know, really, you know, dive in it. But I just listened to people and I saw people that were having good results. And I said, well, you know, 400 bucks, I do one deal, it more than yeah. pays for itself. So honestly, the biggest thing is just, setting you know just signing up and uh seeing if it works and and, well, honestly, and trust yourself because yeah. what you're going to question you guys is am i going to click with you as a trainer trust me i've done this million times i will mm -hmm. but can you trust yourself can you depend on yourself like these two depend on themselves they can trust we will get the shit done even if the day is not perfect even things are not going well here and there we're going to hit snags and road bumps but we will continue the movement mm -hmm. right Right, yeah. What else would you say to inspire people? Whether they're gonna do the bootcamp or not, I really wanted to chat with you not as much to sell people on the bootcamp, although I'd love to have those who feel like yeah. I'm ready to do it, but what else would you share that you feel would really help them on their journey? If you just follow the system, or really just whatever system you have in place today, and you actually are accountable with yourself and you're disciplined about it, and you show up every day, you will see a result. You'll know if you're not showing up because the results won't happen. Mm. So you have to be honest with yourself. And I think that's something a lot of people in this industry Ooh, should. Be honest with yourself. What a great insight. Yeah. Be like, honest with yourself. Because you can bullshit me, you can bullshit other people. Yeah. <laughs> but if you look in the mirror, you know. The numbers don't lie, you know. And at the end, it's gonna be really by dollars. You're yeah. gonna measure, is it really working for me? And clearly for you guys, it seems to be working pretty yeah. well. One thing too I'll add is you'll know where you're lacking, right? So let's say, for example, if you're making enough dials, but you're not setting the appointments, you know you need to work on that. Or if you're getting past that part and you're getting to the appointments, but you're not closing them there. So that's the thing is once you start implementing whatever you do, then you'll have to figure out where, where are you missing the mark. And then where you do can, you feel like you need to improve to get even better results? Uh, I think, um, Probably the biggest for us is where we can improve is once we're not able to get to them on phone is just having everything in, in just better leveraged where, where basically they're consistently getting touched to other emails, yeah. just creating all that stuff to make sure if we can't call them, they're getting our stuff and hearing yeah. about us. Which is something we are working on now is getting better at the, the mailing because we mm -hmm. still mail them, but we feel we could probably, you know, up the mailing a little bit more because yeah. like I said. We started, you know, from the beginning, strengthened all that stuff. So now we're looking at this, like, what can we do better here yeah. on that end? My, my and that, a lot of it will come from a good admin help. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I think that maybe is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> my, my most, I guess my most favorite thing about your coaching real quick is the fact of the package. Is yeah. the expired package. I, am, like that. I am super confident that let's say if I can't set the appointment on the phone, once they get the package yeah. and I follow up with them, I'm probably going to get the appointment or at least get, wow, this, this blew every yeah. other postcard I got out of the mail. They're, they're just, I mean, we like sold sticker in there. I mean, oh, brochure, so our listing presentation, like when we, when we say how much, like how is your last agent's marketing versus the marketing we market ourselves send to you? And they're like, if you market yourself like this, I can only imagine how you're going to market my house. Yeah, we actually, um, we actually had a seller who, when she sat down and she was interviewing multiple people, um, she pulled out our packet and she said, you know, I actually have a realtor friend. They're out of state. So that's why I'm not using them. But I went over these packets with her and I've gotten a lot of mail. And when she saw yours, she said, I have never seen anything like this. This is really <laughs> impressive. So that I mean, it awesome. does set us apart, that mm -hmm. package, yeah. That is fantastic. What Krista is describing is the expired package that'll help you put together. Yeah. We're gonna work on it first week of the bootcamp. That is the secret weapon that you're gonna deploy on these people. That, I, I, How many I, other agents have a fancy package like that in your area? N us, but- Not like yeah. that. But yeah. I mean, honestly, out of everything, that was the biggest like thing for us, I think, that catapulted us to be able to continue to take these listings because if we couldn't set the appointment on the phone, we knew, we'll, like, we're like, oh, but we can send you a package. That's great. We'll call you in three days and probably get an appointment. That is terrific. Do you mail the package to every expired? 
That's a question from Anish. So we don't we don't mail it to every single inspired uh, expired. We try to actually see them in person, like you had recommended. So if we don't get the appointment per se, we try to meet them there. We don't try and sell ourselves while there. Um, we just try to give it to them in person, um, so they see us. Um, and then, of course, if they keep their person consistent about it we'll we'll drop it off usually um and then if they still don't want to then we will mail it but yeah everyone will get a package if we can't get them on the phone in some form gotcha uh brian would like to know how many hours on average do you prospect per day what time of the day and how many days per week and so is it nine, scheduled nine to eleven monday through friday and and we stick to that yeah. because if you don't get on the phone today you won't get paid 90 days from now mm. At it. So if you're willing to give up pay 90 days from now, don't go on the phone, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it is about a 90 day cycle. That's yeah. terrific. You guys, fantastic stuff. Anything else you want to throw in there before we wrap this up? Sure. Just work. <laughs> yeah, just do the work. Honestly, I mean, that's the thing. It's like, if you do it, or yeah. if you do something, you don't even have to do it right. I don't know how many events I've been to and I've seen some of the goofiest agents just making money and why it's because they're doing the work yeah uh, they're not even perfecting it they're just doing the work right uh, you'll do something and you'll learn how to make it better and continue to do better yeah and I think keep in mind too we're talking to you today from not a perfected standpoint like we still have things we're perfecting with what you have given us and we're still strengthening that and we already see a result of you know, 12 listings in two weeks. So I mean, just follow it and you'll be fine. That's I'm fantastic. Sure we'll even more results. I can't even imagine where three of us will get your business like next year. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're excited. <laughs> it's not like we're still just warming up, like the second yeah. gear is in. Mm -hmm. And now we're yeah, getting we're, traction. We're, we're, we're here for the long run. Long haul. Awesome. So. awesome. My prediction is this, guys. I'm going on record. And please look this up two, three years from now you're going to exceed $1 million in personal income within the next two to three years. That's what I'm projecting. And I'm seldom wrong in these things. I've been doing this for over 20 years. So I need a thing or two. You're going places. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for being here today. I know you guys are busy, a family and a business to run. So I really appreciate you taking the time and inspiring folks and sharing the ideas. Rock stars, those of you who are here with me, if you're still considering, go to goborino.com slash bootcamp. We'd love to have you. We're closing the registration on Sunday because we've got books to ship you. We're going to set you up. We have a first session starting on the 14th. Come join us. It's going to be a really intense, cool five sessions where I'll help you build the system, inspire you, teach you. Crack my whip once. I crack my whip once in a while, right, guys? Yeah. <laughs> Sergeant Marino, yeah. right? Yeah, I got my hat. You want to see the hat? <laughs> Yeah. Love that hat. I got my hat. There we go. This is United <laughs> States Marine Corps. I mean, no offense, Luke. Sorry. This is the Marine. So, yeah. <laughs> he loves that hat. Well, <laughs> we mean business. Anyway, so I really appreciate it, you guys. Thank you very much. Keep us posted. Keep the post coming. I really love the inspiration and the sharing. It's really awesome. All right, rock stars. That's it for today. Please join me and thank Luke and Krista for being out there, doing the work, and inspiring you, sharing with you, because here is my belief. Every single one of you watching this right now, every single one of you can do it. Success is duplicatable. Is it easy? Hell no. It takes work. It takes effort. But as you can see, if you put in the work, if you're willing to keep going, if you don't mind the setbacks and don't mind the speed bumps you're going to come across, you can reach it. You can get there. So with that, Coach Borino signing off. You guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I'll talk to you tomorrow. We're going to do another live. We're going to talk about how to break into a higher end market. So you do the same work, but get paid more. For doing a little higher listings. All right. Join the bootcamp. Go to goborino.com slash bootcamp and I'll talk to you real soon. Thank you guys. Thanks, Luke and Chris. I appreciate it. Yeah.